hydrogen and its compounds in this video we shall discuss introduction occurrence and isotopes of hydrogen let us start with the introduction hydrogen is the lightest element because hydrogen contains h2 molecules the molecular weight of h2 is 2 amu it is the lightest element no other molecule will have this much of small atom molecular weight so it is the lightest element it is the first element in the periodic table because its atomic number is 1 it is the first element in the periodic table it forms a maximum number of compounds for example h2o and h3 ch4 like that many compounds will have hydrogen for example here if we consider these compounds these are organic compounds all organic compounds contain hydrogen all organic compounds contain hydrogen therefore hydrogen forms a maximum number of compounds and next uh, it has uh, many applications in industrial area in medical in uh, domestic like that hydrogen is having many applications and we shall look at uh, the applications in the next part uh, it was discovered by cavendish by the action of metals here uh, by the action of acids on metals cavendish discovered hydrogen and we shall look into this reaction afterwards now the name hydrogen was given by lavoisier the name of the scientist is lavoisier and he gave the name hydrogen in the word hydrogen there are two parts hydra and genus hydra means water genus is maker so hydrogen is nothing but water maker why because when hydrogen reacts with oxygen it forms water therefore hydrogen is called water maker now let us look into the occurrence hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe when we talk about universe we have to consider everything that implies our planet earth the surrounding planets sun moon and uh, the milky way and everything everywhere uh, we can find hydrogen therefore hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe and uh, it is the ninth most abundant element in the earth's crust the first most abundant element is oxygen the first most abundant element is oxygen but here hydrogen is ninth most abundant element in the earth's crust it is uh, much less abundant in the atmosphere earth's atmosphere the reason behind is let us suppose this is earth this is earth and uh, the first layer around the earth is atmosphere here in this atmosphere the amount of hydrogen will be very less it is less abundant in the earth's atmosphere it is less abundant in the earth's atmosphere why because hydrogen is the lightest gas therefore it won't stay near the earth surface because uh, gravity will be uh, pulling it won't near uh, stay near the earth surface it will go uh, far away from the earth surface why because it is having very less weight therefore uh, hydrogen is uh, much less abundant in the uh, earth's atmosphere i repeat once again in universe hydrogen is the most abundant element in the earth's crust it is the ninth most abundant element in earth's atmosphere it is less abundant okay and uh, the predominant form of uh, uh, hydrogen is protium we shall uh, discuss the isotopes afterwards hydrogen will be having three isotopes protium deuterium tritium out of those uh, three isotopes the predominant isotope is protium now let us discuss the isotopes of hydrogen what are isotopes isotopes are atoms of the same element having same atomic number same atomic number but uh, different mass numbers but uh, different mass numbers such atoms are called isotopes now we are talking about the isotopes of hydrogen there are three isotopes for hydrogen there are three isotopes for hydrogen they are h11 h12 
H13. This is protium, this is deuterium, this is tritium. All of them are having the same atomic number, but the mass number is 1, 2, 3. Therefore, atomic number is same, mass number is different, therefore these are isotopes. The names are protium, deuterium, tritium, isotopes of hydrogen. Sometimes uh, this deuterium is indicated as D12, this tritium is indicated as T13. Okay. Now let us count the number of electrons, protons and neutrons. As you already know, number of electrons is nothing but uh, atomic number Z. Number of protons is also atomic number Z. Here we have two numbers. The one which is written in the subscript is atomic number and the one which is written in the superscript is mass number. Atomic number, mass number. Here uh, atomic number is 1, therefore number of electrons is 1, number of protons is also 1. Here also 1, 1, 1. Atomic number 1, therefore electrons 1, protons 1. Coming to neutrons, uh, the calculation for the number of neutrons n is done by the formula A minus Z, where A stands for mass number, Z stands for atomic number. What is mass number? The one which is written on the subscript, sorry, superscript is called mass number. In the first example, protium, mass number is 1, atomic number is also 1, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. In the second example, mass number is 2, atomic number is 1, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 and here it is 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1 that is equal to 2. So what we can observe is everywhere the number of electrons and protons are same, 1, 1, 1 but coming to neutrons, number of neutrons in protium is 0, in deuterium is 1, in tritium is 2. Here the only atom in the periodic table which shows uh, zero number of neutrons, without neutrons, is protium. Protium atom is the only one atom in the periodic table which does not have any neutrons. Number of neutrons is equal to zero. Right. Deuterium is called heavy hydrogen. What is deuterium? H12. It is called heavy hydrogen. Next, in 1934, Harold C. Urey got Nobel Prize for separating hydrogen isotopes, uh, hydrogen isotope deuterium. For separating the deuterium, this person, Harold C. Ure, got Nobel Prize. Isotopes have similar chemical properties but different physical properties. Let us understand the reason behind this. What are isotopes? Isotopes have same atomic number. Same atomic number means same number of electrons. Because they have same number of electrons, they will be having same electronic configuration. Because the electronic configuration is same, they will have same chemical properties, similar chemical properties. But the mass number is different, size of the atom is also different, therefore they have different physical properties. So isotopes have similar chemical properties but different physical properties. Their rates of reactions are uh, different due to different in bond energies. What are our isotopes? H11 protium, H12 deuterium, H13. All these show same chemical properties but uh, the rates of reactions are different. Why? Because they have different bond energies. Chemical reactivity decreases with increasing mass number. Here uh, tritium is having the mass number 3. It is the highest mass number among the hydrogen isotopes. So this tritium will have less reactivity. So I want to make it a point here. Chemical reactivity, chemical reactivity decreases with increasing mass number. Therefore order of reactivity is 
protium less than sorry greater than deuterium greater than tritium tritium will be very small reactive very less reactive now next point tritium is uh, radioactive in nature what is meant by radioactivity the spontaneous emission of alpha or beta or gamma rays by a substance is called radioactivity here we are talking about tritium tritium is radioactive why because what is tritium h13 this is tritium 3 is mass number when uh, this h13 undergoes uh, radioactive decomposition it will emit uh, beta particles what are beta particles e minus 1 0 as a result of this uh, e minus 1 0 the another nuclei formed is he 2 3 so by the production of he 2 3 one beta particle is emitted by tritium so hydrogen is sorry tritium is radioactive in nature so sometimes the question will be like this among the hydrogen isotopes which is radioactive answer is tritium tritium is radioactive now the thing is uh, when we consider radioactive decay we should write half life period also what is half life the time required for the initial concentration of the reactants to become half is called half life it is uh, it is indicated by the symbol t half for this tritium the t half value is 12.3 years that implies when we take 100 grams of hydro tritium to become 50 grams it it will take 12.3 years so the tritium half life is 12.3 years next thing is hydrogen and tritium are used as tracers in the study of chemical reactions for studying the mechanisms of chemical reactions hydrogen sorry deuterium and tritium are used as tracers next theoretically six different hydrogen molecules are possible let us see what they are we are having hydrogen atom deuterium atom and a tritium atom we have hydrogen deuterium and tritium here i write another set hydrogen deuterium tritium when hydrogen and hydrogen combine it will form h2 molecule when deuterium and deuterium combine it will form d2 molecule when tritium and tritium combine it will form t2 molecule and when uh, one hydrogen and one deuterium combine it will form hd molecule similarly hd molecule and one more thing is uh, hd is completed hd is completed dt can also be formed so the last one is dt molecule so like that one two three four five six six different uh, hydrogen molecules diatomic molecules are possible but the thing is uh, of these uh, h2 and d2 are important the first two will be predominant next one comparison of different isotopes let us look into this uh, point clearly here we are going to compare the different isotopes protium deuterium and tritium what is protium h11 what is deuterium h12 what is tritium h13 we shall compare these uh, three different isotopes number 1 relative abundance relative abundance among these three protium is more abundant therefore as we move from here to here relative abundance decreases decreases atomic mass atomic mass is 1 2 3 so atomic mass number atomic mass is increasing melting point boiling point because as we move from left to right size of the i atom increases therefore atomic size increases van der waals forces increases and therefore melting and boiling points also increase so here our answer is melting point increase from here to here boiling point also increase from here to here right 
Next one is density. What is density? Mass by volume. Density of all these gases are uh, recorded experimentally. It was found that uh, the density of tritium is greater than the remaining. So density also increases. Now let us consider enthalpy of fusion. What is meant by enthalpy of fusion? The amount of heat released when one mole of a solid is converted into one mole of liquid. One mole solid is converting into one mole liquid. The amount of heat absorbed is called enthalpy of fusion. Here we are writing the information only up to deuterium. We are not uh, looking at uh, tritium. For deuterium, for deuterium, the enthalpy of fusion will increase. Why? Because as we move from H uh, protium to tritium, the molecules are H2 and D2. D2 will have larger molecular weight, therefore it will have larger uh, Van der Waals forces, therefore and melting point, sorry, enthalpy of fusion increases and enthalpy of vaporization also increases. Enthalpy of vaporization also increases. Right. Now let us discuss this last point, rate of diffusion. What is meant by rate of diffusion? It is nothing but speed of the gas. While the gases move from one place to another place, that speed of the gas is called rate of diffusion, simply speaking. Now, you know that uh, speed is uh, inversely proportional to size. Speed is inversely proportional to size of the molecule. Here we are comparing only deuterium and hydrogen, protium. Out of these two, deuterium is uh, heavier, that is more size. Then automatically it will have less speed. So rate of diffusion decreases. That implies H2 is greater than D2 rate of diffusion decreases right so what we are able to observe here is everywhere uh, when we compare protium and deuterium everywhere deuterium is dominating increases 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 everywhere deuterium is dominating but uh, for rate of diffusion hydrogen dominates h2 dominates so we shall write it like this in all properties D2 dominates over H2. D2 dominates over H2 except in rate of diffusion. I repeat once again, in all properties D2 dominates over H2 except in rate of diffusion. Only in rate of diffusion, the deuterium is having less rate of diffusion than H2. So this is very simple. Now let us look into these two parts, bond length and bond energy. It was observed experimentally that the bond length of hydrogen and deuterium the bond length of H2 and bond length of D2 are equal it was found experimentally but uh, we know that uh, bond energy is inversely proportional to bond length if we use this principle, because bond length is same, automatically we will expect that uh, bond energy will also be the same. We expect that bond energy will also be the same. But what happened is, the bond energy of HH bond is less than bond energy of DD bond. So our answer is H2 is less than D2. That implies bond energy increases. So here this is a very important point, I repeat it once again, bond length is same, H2 is equal to D2, that implies bond energy should also be the same, H2 is equal to D2, but practically it was observed that H2 is less than D2, coming to bond energy. Why? Because there are several other factors like nuclear forces which influence this point. When we consider only this point, when we consider only this point, because bond length is the same, bond energy should also be the same. But what happened is, because of some other nuclear forces, it was observed that even though bond length is same, bond energy will be greater than 
bond uh, hydrogen d2 is greater than hydrogen so here the point is simple the bond length of hs bond is same as that of bond length of dd bond but the bond energy of hh is less than bond energy of dd bond here in this bond energy bond lengths are written and here we are writing bond energy bond energy of hh is less than bond energy of dd because several other factors like nuclear forces influence so with this we have compared the differences between protium deuterium and tritium in the next video we shall discuss the position of hydrogen in the periodic table and some other points